guys, this is Mara the Reading Hedgehog with my video review of We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Um, huh, this is going to be a hard one to review because I can't really say anything. Um, you've probably all heard on various booktube channels that this is a book that you need to go in not knowing anything about it. Um, except that, which kind of tells you all about it. You just need to go in and read it. And I unfortunately agree so this is going to be an interesting review and probably a very short one. I gave it three out of five strawberries. Um, I liked it, I enjoyed it. It was a very very quick weekend read, uh, very interesting. Uh, it definitely ended, I was not expecting that and yes I do want to go and reread it and see if I can find clues now. Um, but it's it's a contemporary novel in case you didn't figure that out. Um, and it follows this girl that is like the daughter of this lady that's part of this really old money East Coast families um, and her and her two cousins and a friend one of her cousins always spend their summers on a privately owned island and then one summer something happens that completely changes everything and the book is about finding out what happened and the girl, the um, narrator, whose name I've forgotten, which is kind of sad, um, Cadence. Cadence doesn't remember what happened. So throughout the book, she's remembering what happened, and sh so she's learning, she's remembering what happened along with the reader. And what made this book so engaging was how it was written. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, it, it's, they're very, very, very short chapters. And some of it's in past tense, some of it's in present tense, depending on whether or not it's a memory. And it's not, it's not told in a linear fashion. Obviously, it's got flashbacks. Um, and just, it has a lot of interesting prose and similes and metaphors. And it was just really interesting. The, the style is totally what made this gripping. You want to know what happens. You keep getting these little hints of maybe kind of what happened, but you can't quite figure out for yourself what happened, so you're like, well, I want to find out what happens. Um, so it's totally a plot-driven book. It's not character-driven. I didn't care about anyone. I didn't necessarily dislike any of them, but I didn't care about them. Um, it's not a book where you care about the characters. Um, but since it's so short, that doesn't matter. Um, the plot is engaging enough that you want, that you kind of are okay with not knowing of not caring about the characters. Um, and it's, I don't know, I, like I said, I can't say much about it because it's one of those that you really should go in not knowing anything about it other than, well, you really shouldn't know that there's a twist then either because if you know that, you either have high expectations and you're disappointed, um, or just you go through it waiting for the twist and it can kind of make it feel boring. I don't know, it was it was an interesting book and I it's kind of one of those that you'd have to go in on faith because I, I've already said this but you can't know anything about it so someone who's recommending to you can't tell you anything about it. If you're like me though you don't like contemporary so you might be like I don't really want to read it. But it's it's contemporary but it's not if that makes any sense so it I don't know just read it. <laughs> If you're looking for a very short weekend summer read that kind of makes you go, what the heck just happened, then pick this one up. It, it's, it's interesting. Um, it just don't, don't try to theorize, otherwise you probably will come up with a theory that won't match what happens and then you probably will be disappointed. I know that happened to several people I know that read it. Um, so you just gotta, just go with the flow. Just just go with it and wait for the moment where you're like, what? And then, you know, you can appreciate it. So yeah, three out of five strawberries. I enjoyed it. Um, it was interesting. I would read it again while well, I'm going to because I want to look for clues now that I know what happens. Um, but yeah, and also this was the uh, book explosion book of the month for June. I actually finished it in May because I got ahead of myself, but it was very interesting. I'm, I'm glad I picked it up. This was a good contemporary.
If you've read it or plan on reading it, let me know and leave your comments below and I look forward to seeing you with the next video that probably won't be as short. Bye!